Hello and welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play American Truck Simulator. We're at a rest stop and we've slept the night. Do I still have that on? There we go. So uh, now we're getting off the highway. Well, we've already gotten off the highway, but uh, yeah, we're not going to continue on it. We're actually going to take this little shortcut here across some uh, well regular roads. Actually all the way it seems. I think that's a highway. And then off the highway again, unless actually that might be another highway. Yeah, it is. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be quite interesting with such a heavy big load. Uh, what is it? It doesn't say heavy bulldozer. Oh well. So let's get going, shall we? Let's go. Oh yeah. Now, uh, oh, my pressure in the brakes is still up. Interesting. So this is going to be a bit of a tight turn here, especially for a giant trailer, but it's not a huge deal. Alright, there we go, let's straighten out the camera. And then immediately, yeah, yeah, that's jackknifing, that's not very good, but... <laughs> I love that sound! <laughs> oh. Where's the exit here? Do I have to go back on the road here, I guess? Uh, it doesn't say that that's an Reloading. exit only. So I'm just gonna take it here. Alright. Let's try to do this without uh, causing too much of a problem. The only problem is, we can't really see anything on that side. There we go. Keep left. Keep turn left. Whoa, whoa, dude, dude! Holy turn moly! Left. That guy did not give a single hoot about this. Yeah, that's one of the bad sides about uh, the driving AI in this game. A lot of the times they won't really anticipate you doing some crazy maneuvers, but I suppose it would be... I don't know, I suppose it would be difficult for the AI to do that. Maybe with the uh, <coughs> with the advent of um, these self-learning algorithms and such, that could be a bit more interesting when they're gonna actually maybe, you know, look at your truck and see that you're gonna have to go around or something and they will anticipate your movements and how you're gonna perform them. I didn't look to the right because, uh, well, I had my hands full and I simply assumed that the uh, AI will take care of that. Power! Yeah, this is full power. Nice. Don't have to shift. Five low. Don't have to get out of this lane, I think, at the moment. <laughs> So nice and relaxing. I do believe we have a. Oh, this lane ends. No, this lane ends. Come on. Whew, just in time. I mean, in this game, it doesn't really truly matter. You can just go on the hard shoulder, and uh, not even the police will bother you about it, which is kind of unrealistic. We'll have to get off here, um, get off the highway. Yeah, I do believe we have a, a couple of actual truckers amongst my viewers, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, that clutchless shift, yeah! Like I said, uh, clutchless shifting is a bit more difficult in, in a simulator like this because you don't get any feedback from the actual uh, shifter. See what we have here. Nothing. Go straight. 
Yes, that is what I am doing. Alright. Maybe I should try not using the exhaust brakes here because we are in, in a town, so, you know, be a bit more realistic. Which means that I'll have to be a lot more careful with uh, my speed. Let's just skip a gear. It's 35 here. I hope people will anticipate oh, a big astro- oh no, come on, not now. Yeah, I do, I do kind of wish that they would uh, simulate brakes overheating as well. That would alleviate a lot of problems of, um, you know, not really having to use the Jake brakes and the retarder and all of that, because you can just use the normal brakes. Of course, in my game, I made the actual mechanical brakes a lot less efficient uh, or a lot, a lot less strong. Uh, so even if I jam on them, it will take a while for me to stop. Just to simulate, you know, the actual weight of the truck. So let's skip a couple of gears here. There we go. I can use the retarder, though. Not oh, the exhaust brakes, those are too loud. Even though I could swear that over here in Europe, they use exhaust brakes wherever, and they're really not loud, you just hear a little but, you know, very sort of subtle it's kind of cool when they do it as well I think so, I'm not obviously, you know, I'm not a trucker so, don't take my word for it but I believe I've, I've heard them do it so this is sort of another smaller highway as well hmm. sound of the Cummins is so awesome. I actually watched a video of an actual Cummins ISX. I believe that's the engine I have in this truck. And it really does sound a lot like that because that guy had straight pipes. Um, and the accelerating, I mean, the, the engine sound was a lot like this. The, uh, the Jake brakes were a bit different. Not as, I don't know, machine gunny as they are here. But, you know, still awesome. So look at that. We actually got to 65, and we're going to stay at 65. I'm not going to go try and go over, because I think this is plenty for now. Lovely day we have. So, yeah, if, you know, if the uh, actual truckers are watching, why don't you give us a few of your experiences in trucking? And, uh... And, for example, whether you like the sound of an engine like this or not. Although, you know, I'm thinking... Oh, will we have rubbernecking? Not in this game, I don't think. Um, although, I'm, like I said before, I'm guessing that having overly loud exhaust would be... I don't know. Over the long period, every day, I would go crazy. Because I watched that... Like I said, I watched that... Uh, straight exhaust guy with the Cummins ISX and it was an amazing sound but after a little while, it was like an hour long video or something but after a little while, because I left it in the background because it was such a nice sound you know, at, at some certain RPMs when he was accelerating up a hill or something the entire um, cabin started vibrating a bit and I just thought to myself I would go flipping nuts if I had to listen to that all of the time, so you know, while while it is very nice, I don't know if it's viable over a long period of time. Not for me, anyway. <laughs> so I think I would still prefer a quieter exhaust if I had to do it for a living. Definitely. And like I said, I, I don't know. I always loved big rigs. Always loved big machinery. I love driving. I should try it at some point. I was uh, braking not because of the cop over there, but because I thought that that road construction was on our side, and I was afraid that the uh, AI would start braking way too aggressively, as they do. And let's put 
cruise control on again. So we've got 25 hours left to our destination and 1,300 miles and we have 62 hours available to actually get there so when it gets dark we can go to sleep again in case you haven't seen that before oh, it's gonna reduce speed ahead One. I gotta be careful because this car in front is probably just gonna... Yeah, he is. Thirty-five. Keep left, then turn left. I actually have to go here. And again, I'm using exhaust brakes when uh, probably shouldn't. Turn left. Slow down. Have to use my mechanical brakes here. Just a little bit. Oh, all right. Uh, what was I talking about? <laughs> I forgot. Oh. oh, what's going on? I'm in high. No, no, no. Please, just wait for me. Sorry. Oh yeah, that's what I said, that I, I'm, I'm very sort of interested in this. I know that, you know, games always can romanticize things that, that seem fun because, you know, they're games, so... I'm sure trucking can get a lot more difficult than this and uh, a lot less nice. Oh, look at this. Retarder and uh, exhaust brakes. Don't want to necessarily go 55 on this road, but we'll see. For now, I'll just get up there. And I'm looking ahead on the GPS to see if there's any really bad corners about. I don't really think I should get into 8 low, just because of the heavy load. Yeah, that might get interesting over there. Okay, I'm gonna stop because it's a hill. I'm gonna slow down anyway. That sound! Power! <laughs> Can I do it? Can I do it? Nah, we'll have to shift it to four. Yeah, let's go to four high. Power! Well, we managed 18 miles per hour. That's not bad for such a heavy load. I shift to five high. All right, let, let's do it. Just, just enough. Nah, I don't. I don't give more power. More power. What is this? Technos Plus. Oops. Uh, no. No, 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 not. No. <laughs> that was a complete over rev. <coughs> we didn't see that. What is going on with my shifting today? Nice place though. I like deserty environments. It's 45 here. Oh, are we gonna get weighed here? 
Yes. People behind me are gonna be just ecstatic. We've been holding them up, going uphill. Oh, actually, there's no one behind us, as far as I can see, anyway. Well, there is someone now. Loaded. Stop at the truck scales ahead and activate the icon. Hello! How's everyone doing today? 60 tons. <laughs> the engine really sings after 1500. Wow. What? Oh, come on! I'm supposed to accelerate here. Flipping hell. I do hate that, because the entire... Oh, we're going to have to go right here. <clears throat> the entire place with the scales is considered a area of like 15 miles per hour. Despite the fact that you're actually trying to accelerate to get back on the road. Which I think is a bit silly. But oh well. Hopefully there's no one there, I didn't really look with the camera. There isn't... See how much space we need for that giant trailer. I do like these little back roads though. That's very picturesque. Utah! Welcome to Utah. What a cool place. I have to see the Rockies at some point. I would love to. I was in Nevada, but didn't really have the time to go and see the canyon. Come on, power! Wow, that uh, police car was gunning it. Not gonna go into six high, no need right now. There's a big corner coming up, so I'm not really going to accelerate. We're going down the hill anyway. Just going to break a little bit. So what's coming up there? Oh, it, it's not a corner, it's an actual intersection. Another police car? Oh. Nice V8. A little bit too soon. Better be safe than sorry. Where's this Get road go to? to? Right. That's cool. It's like a it's like a farm or something. Okay, we're going to have to take this pretty wide. I do wish I could just have one of those uh, track IRs. No one? Trailer's good. Oops, sorry about that. Hit my microphone. 35 here. It is a small town. That's cool. Look at these old little uh, houses and such. And very picturesque environment. There's fuel there, but we're pretty much full on fuel, so that's good. 233 for diesel. That's not bad. 
Fluff Fort? Did that say Fluff Fort? No, it said something oh. else. Keep right. I do have to say, they, uh, they really did a good job on all these environments and such. SCS software. Look at the mountains here. Well, I suppose they're not really mountains, they're hills. Hills! Power! I have to say that uh, driving across Nevada towards uh, Vegas and such was really awesome for me. I know that it is probably boring for a lot of people, but it, like I said, I love desert environments and it was... For me, it was picturesque, all the, all the sand and the rocks and something completely different to what I'm used to. Exotic for me, anyway. And, uh, yeah, that was very cool. Power! I have quite a... I have quite a queue behind me. Quite a lot of cars. Well... I would stop somewhere to let them pass if I could, but... With such a big ass trailer, that's not really an option. Oh. It's a little steeper than I was expecting. See, that's cool. That's what I like. Have to have the jakes on all the time. That's actually not enough. Seven miles to go. Oh, look at the water. That was a nice sound of that truck. There's cones every now and then, and I didn't really see anything that would be in the road for the cones to be there. Not sure. Might have probably missed it. Oh, they kill. Come on, truck. Alright, now we're gonna have a drove of people trying to overtake us. And the road already narrows. No, 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 come on. Come on guys, overtake if you want right now, because I'm going to have to go back. That truck is actually... well, he can't pull up either. <laughs> that exhaust brake is just awesome. A 30 here. I do also like these old style uh, American barns there on the left. I don't know if that's exactly... Well, I, I suppose it is old school style, but... Oh yeah, wait. I can't use... I can't use exhaust brakes. Excellent. Look at that. This truck is still going to overtake us, despite the fact that we had a head start. No! <laughs> hungry? Yes, please. I am hungry. Also, oh shoot. Uh, please, car. Please. Thank you very much, car. Wow, that was very perceptive of the AI. Thank you. Hey. If this guy slams on the brakes, I'm done for. Oh, that was very nice! He was right next to us, 
And yet, at the same time, he started pulling back to let us through. Either he saw the blinker and took that into account, or the AI actually takes into the account that the road narrows and it uses the zipper rule. That's really cool. Oops. It's my fault. Going into <laughs> sixth instead of eighth. Fifty-five. Wow, that uh, that little truck is gunning it. And we are too. Along these roads, those are some tire mar uh, well tires. Actually, let's go for it. Power! They'll be able to overtake us here. Oh, well, yeah. They would, but... I don't know if they'll dare. It's a very short stretch. Man, I love the environment. It's so nice. Hole in the ground? Hole in the round? A hole in the rock. Is this... That's cool. What is this? We've got like dinosaurs and... No, elephants. Oh, and a lizard? That's really cool. And I didn't know... That this was actually gonna be a two-lane road. I thought it was just gonna break off to the hole in the ground. Or a hole in the rock, and that was it. So I didn't go right. This is so picturesque for me. Holy moly, it's beautiful. Uh-oh. 50 ahead. Okay, gotta stop using the exhaust brake. Not really sure why the retarder... I thought that a retarder wasn't really connected to the, uh, to the transmission. I thought that was on the drive shaft. I don't know, actually. Probably completely wrong. Oh, oh. Ah, thanks, thanks for that. Oh, jeez. Alright, what a nice place. Look at our truck. That is a long trailer. That is a very long trailer. With a big, big, big thing on the back. Who can do it, the bus or us? Yeah, that's that's not the best idea, Mr. Bus. Oh my god, I'm barely making the corner with the trailer. But I'm not gonna let him win. No, not today. <laughs> this is so stupid. Every truck driver will tell you that is stupid. What is that little icon? It's like a viewpoint or something. Can't remember. Let's give the bus a lot of space. Even though he's actually ahead of us now. No man's would catch us. It's rock shop fossils. Oh, cool. Can I move my pedals a little bit? You know, it's my own fault for just trying to keep up with the truck and every I mean with the bus because it would have been much nicer if he was to go straight FO and not hug our space there whoa 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 okay that was good actually that was surprisingly good from the AI because usually it's either far too too oh shoot oh no that was bad that was way too aggressive and quick there from me. 
But yeah, the AI is usually either way too timid or way too aggressive. But in this case, I feel that was pretty good. Maybe slightly dicey, considering the amount of weight we have at the back and not being able to stop. But I was sure that it was just either going to stay there where it was in our way or try to go forward and then immediately stop as it sees traffic approaching. But no, that was actually pretty good. And in fact, that was a lot better than a lot of drivers actually do on the road, because a lot of drivers, especially in the US I found, seem to be far too timid uh, in intersections and such. It's probably because they have so many protected lefts. Oh, we're gonna have to go left here. They have so many protected turns, so they don't have to worry about oncoming traffic. So when it actually does come to oncoming traffic, Holy moly, sometimes I, s I was staying behind people for so long, I thought... <laughs> I was gonna grow a beard, honestly. Because they were waiting for... I don't know. Like, if you were in Vegas, they were waiting for cars coming from flippin' New York to pass. It's like, seriously? <laughs> I didn't lose my temper or anything, don't don't get me wrong. It was just like, what well, what are you doing? You could have gone thirty thousand times already. Oh yeah, another one of these lovely on ramps. That don't actually give you any time to accelerate. Ah What what the hell's going on? Did I really do Hands on the wheel, not on the phone. Don't text and drive. <laughs> but yeah, you. Oh, there's bad drivers all over. Because you know when I when I came to the U.S. Uh, the very first time, and they told me, "Hey, you, you must be a really good driver coming from Europe." And I'm like, uh, "Why? <laughs> you know how many bad drivers are in Europe? Holy moly!" Cell phones are really one of my pet peeves, because you, you can just see it when you're in a when you're on a line of cars and you're coming to a traffic stop, a uh, traffic light stop, and you can just see a, as soon as they stop or even before that, immediately everyone heads everyone's head goes down and they pick up their phone. It's like you gotta be kidding. Me. Uh, mighty fast. Mighty fast. Mighty fast. I don't even see if this is clear. It is. <laughs> Oof. It's bad. Lovely place though. I do like it. Bloody pandemic man. I like to travel a little bit again. Go to the US. Be nice. Okay. Anyway. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I do playing it and you know jumping with joy over the sounds. And, uh, of course, I will see you next time. So, have a good one. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about the Let's Play, or anything else, or your experience with drivers. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.